Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. You know it's your girl Twin D. Thank you so so much for stopping by the channel. Every single one of you, my long time subscribers, big up on yourself, enough, enough. Big up, big up, big up still. Oh no. <laughs> and all my subscribers who are just joining, big up on yourself as well. Thank you for your support. Court, guys love you all let's jump into your message and let's see what your divine masculines what their next steps are you know well in regards to you of course nobody else <laughs> our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen all right guys let's see what your excuse me what your masculine's next steps are you have cupid's arrow so some divine masculines are coming forward here with love we have been seeing it in the messages we've been seeing it in the messages so it's obvious it's obvious I'm just praying that one of them is mine. One of those messages is mine. You know, that's that's the only thing I'm praying for. <laughs> but it's obvious. Union is going to happen for someone here. This will be a surprise. A surprise meeting. Some of your divine masculines, they are kind of um, hesitating, holding back. Wanting to come forward, but... You know that little fear is there, that fear. And so what if my person rejects me? That's, that's there. So they're hesitant, a little bit hesitant. And you have camera. Your divine masculines have learned their lessons. They have learned from the past actions. They have learned all the things, all the lessons that they need to learn in order to move forward. Their perception has changed. This is... Or these are brand new divine masculines. The way they look at things, the way they used to view things, 1101. It has changed. And now they want to rebuild with you, divine feminine. They're coming forward to rebuild. There may be some sort of communication coming in as well. Where it's like your divine masculines, they may be talking to you. But it's like they're, they're trying to figure out, like, what, what are you up to, divine feminine? You know, they're trying to... They're trying to find out, are you taken? They're trying to find out, are you still interested? They're trying to find out, have you forgiven me? They're trying to find out, can we start over? But they do want to work on this connection with you. What else you can tell me here? You have seduction. You have seduction. So your divine masculines are definitely coming in with some little fl flirtatious energy here. Yeah. They miss you, you know? So they're coming in with a little flirty such energy. <laughs> Wanting to hook up. Wanting to start something new. Their intention, their next step. Everything leading. Look, look at my fingerprint. Everything leading to this marriage, to this union, to this commitment. Like I said before, those that union has been showing up. It has been showing up. And that's because your intention is union with you. Soulmates, baby. You're my soulmate, Divine Feminine. I figured it out. I know it now. Let's get back together. Let's start dating. Let's start this connection all over. I realize you truly love me. This is unconditional love. And most importantly, one lesson that your divine masculine learned is how to love themselves. So nobody can make a fool of them anymore. Nobody. Because now they're standing on their own two feet. Your divine masculine is going to ask to meet you. Whoever this is, they're going to ask to meet you. The phoenix, or they're going to tell you they're coming to see you. New phase. Yeah, it's a new phase. A new dawn, a new light. And they're feeling good. Abundance. Everything that they desire is now 
coming to reality. The only thing now is to get the girl or get the guy. They have all their plans. They have everything figured out. The only thing that's missing now is you. Give me one more here, please. The golden mirror. <laughs> Your divine masculines, like I said, they are seeing and they are learning what love truly is. Your divine masculines, they were, they were involved in third-party situations. And some of them, you showed them that these negative situations within them it was them being that self-absorbed person pleasing the crowd you know like when they're full of themselves and you know everything's going my way and i will do this and i don't have to choose you and then everything started to fall apart and who is left the person they don't want to choose or didn't want to choose Your divine masculines learned what true love really is because they ended up in a one-sided relationship. They ended up in a one-sided relationship where they were, they were the ones giving, 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 giving. And they were drained, they were tired, their heart was weak because they weren't receiving any love from what they were giving. And then they're realizing how you felt. When you were giving them love and they never reciprocated that love. Ah, oh, poor masculines. Stalking. So they're watching you. Again, it's their perception has changed. They're looking at you in a new light. They're looking at their life in a new light. They want to start something new. Moving on. Spending time with friends. Now they're going out. Now they're enjoying themselves. No more heartache and pain. The Grim Reaper. Yeah, told you they were in another relationship here. Well, that situation is done. They have learned their lessons, Divine Feminine. So this Divine Masculine could have been somebody who walked away from you back to a karmic partner that they were on their way out of. No. But no more second chance. It's done. They've been giving this person chances upon chances. But no more. No more second chance, or should I say 10 chances, 15 chances, no more. What else can you tell me that these masculines are up to? What's their next movement, please, in regards to their divine feminine? What else are they planning on here? The sickle, there's a breakup, oh my God, I, every time, every time, every time, I get this little piece of separation happening. I know separation has to happen, you know, but when we have a good message like this coming out, you know, the separation part can, can, can stay back for a little bit, you know? Well, some of your divine maskings are definitely going to be holding back, just like um, I had seen before. They're definitely going to be holding back because they may feel like they're not good enough, they may feel like they're not ready, that they don't have enough to offer. So there may be a separation between you and them. 10 and 11, 1, 1, 1, and I did see 11, 0, 1 before. Something is aligning. Something is falling into place. There was some sort of argument, conflict between you and your Divine Masculines. Your Divine Masculine is working on purging and releasing those negative emotions. You know, so that they are not too quick to judge, not too quick to answer, not too quick to make a comment. Learning how to communicate with others. Releasing negativity. What else are they changing here? Their immaturity. Your divine masculines have grown up. They have changed your perception. The way they used to think before, that's double confirmation. The way they used to think before, the way they used to do things, they are, they are not like that anymore. It's a new divine masculine. A new divine masculine coming towards you. Excuse me, and I do not mean like a new person. I mean this person is no longer the old them. They have grown up, they have changed. 
Prepare for that message. That communication is coming. My gosh, I have a hiccup. That communication is coming. Some of you may get this communication and then it's like, then there's going to be this separation. My Lord. What's going to cause this separation could be something that someone, whether you or your masculine, may not agree with. Or you're questioning your person about something, something that's going to spark an argument. And it's going to cause a separation. So you guys, you hear from now. So be careful. Cherishing. Cherishing the moments that they share with you. Cherishing you. Cherishing happiness. Cherishing peace, freedom, love. They're coming to make you an offer. Oh, yes they are. They're coming to make an offer. And see, he fell out of my hand. He's not sure if he wants to come forward. He's scared. He's scared. This is your lover coming towards you. The one that's meant for you. The yin to your yang. The yang to your yin. This person was experiencing a lot of confusion. But all those clouds are gone right now. The stars. Oh yes. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> Whoever they are. This person is returning to this person that truly makes them happy. They are following signs and synchronicities. So these divine masculines are awakened. They are awakened. They are seeing numbers, guys. They are seeing signs in regards to you. They are seeing synchronicities about you. Everything reminds them of you. Huh? Everything. You have the owl. So that communication is definitely coming in and it's gonna it's gonna be one of growth as well so it's not only for those who will who need to be cautious when you're gonna communicate with your masculine but there's also some here where this communication is gonna lead to ding ding a new beginning 11 11 it's gonna lead to a new beginning it's gonna lead to a new start it's going to lead to um, more communication between you and your masculine. It's going to lead to growth. Yes. Yes. They're coming in. They're going to be very sweet. Very sweet. That's why they're going to come in with that apology. Because they realize all the things in their life that they were doing wrong. And you were one of the main things they were doing wrong. So they're coming back. Yeah, the deception. Yeah. They broke your heart. Deceived you. Manipulated you mm -hmm. they're coming back strong and stable king of pentacles more abundant these are my masculines definitely had to put something to an end they're no single thank you god thank you god i'm thanking you god for now because that's what i want for mine thank you <laughs> thank you so very much Let's see how they're feeling coming towards you. Or what's on their mind coming towards you. Significant love relationship. Nobody else matters but you right now. Nobody else. You are their focus. You are that light at the end of the tunnel. They have tunnel vision only for you. Only for you divine feminine materialism oh yeah and heavy burden okay so this is what was holding your divine masculine back material things material things things that they were chasing and because at the time they could see the things that they had or th that they could get from somebody they decided not to change but when those things disappeared who else was left there? What was the only thing that was left there? Their divine feminine. Everybody was gone. Their money was gone. Everything they were holding on to. The money, the house, the cars. Everything was gone. So they're realizing what is truly important. Intellectual matters. They had to be using their head divine feminine. 
they had to be using their heads. Now your divine masculines can teach others. Some of your divine masculines, they change careers and some of them are teachers now. Some of them are guides. Like some of you are. Because now they've learned their lessons and they're learning from their past. So now they can pass this knowledge. Ding, ding. They can pass this knowledge on to others. Give me one more, please. Even if the others, they're not twin flame, but they know what to tell others. You know when their friends were, their, their friends, their friends were giving them advice, but it was negative advice. Now they know and they can guide somebody else properly. Patience and progress. Mm -hmm. Old friends, good memories. Those are all the things that your divine masculines had with you. You were in their past. You're an old friend of theirs. And I don't want to be his friend. I can't be his friend with somebody I'm in love with. No, it's either or either, you know. So we can start over. By being friends, but the intention must be to lead towards a relationship. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to be your friend and you're going to be out there running around with everybody else. And you're going to come and, and, and rap with me every single day and then go to your home. And then when I go home, I go home crying. No, 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 buddy. No way. No, no, no. Ain't going to work like that. Good memories. You're the only one in their life that they had good memories with. And you gave them those good memories. Any memory they have of what they were doing to you was not pleasant at all. But you were still there. You still stuck around. So now they are seeing who truly loves me. Helping others. Mentor. I told you they are guiding others. I told you they are teaching others. Destructive behaviors. Yeah, it was your own behaviors in the past that destroyed your connection. Dreams come true. Now they realize that this one person that they were searching for, it was you all along. All that they have asked for, all that they were looking for, you were there. You were that person and they let you get away. But they're going to change it. They're changing it. Watch out for that conversation. This has been your message, everyone. To pay for a book or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site for your bracelets, your keychains, your bath bombs, your incense. Go to twindholisticboutique.square.site and all your bath bombs and stuff. Other body body products go to diansbathandbody.square.site. Check the description box for the links, guys. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at your next message later, guys. Oh, do not forget the prayer tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope I got it right this time. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you join us, guys. You cannot go through life without giving God thanks. At least you can save at least 10 minutes out of your whole week just to pray with your camp, with your soul sisters and soul brothers to say, God, thank you for life. Join us tomorrow, Sunday, every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love you guys. Let go and let God. And I'll see you later. Love you all.